Hey everybody. So I do have a few more things to do here, but uh, I'm pretty much done for the night. This thing really kicked my ass, getting all this going. In the final directions it says, oh, you're finally done. But nowhere does it tell you how to mount the uh, extruder here onto the Z platform. So looking through all the pictures, it eventually showed up that you used these two knobs so I did guess correctly that the long thin one goes by itself in the middle there and, or up there rather and the two pairs do go on the side here so uh, I could have put the wire here on this side but I had no way to know at the time which way it was going what or where or what there's still a couple things to do I have to put the thermistor on the uh, head there which I guess is what heats the whole thing up so that's got to be all wired up but I want to get the uh, opinion of the guys at Crash Space the hacker space here in Los Angeles because they've built a few of these already so I don't want to screw that up they also have some high temperature solder probably at their place so I can do those uh, side things there with the wires and what else has to be done? I've got to put the thermal barriers on as well, all around the print head there. And uh, that's it for the extruder itself. Another thing I still have to do is the relay board, which is this guy here. Can't tell you exactly what it does, but basically you hook it up between the extruder and the motherboard. There is no particular place to mount it so I will have to find a place for that and then also missing on here I was kind of surprised to see is a one more controller board and I have no idea where that's supposed to go I doubt it was extra and they sent it along for fun but uh, you never know I'll get the opinion of uh, the guys at Crash Space about that but there is some more space here for the relay board and it's the extruder controller actually I was thinking that went straight off the motherboard, but it does not. It has its own controller board. I'm going to save all this wiring for the last minute, because uh, basically I don't want any wires tangled to uh, catch on anything while I'm moving it around. This wire here off the extruder is definitely needs some trimming down, but once I know how that's going to go, I'll wait on that. So there's a few things I can wait on. Uh, all my spare parts for this that I still have to do is in this box here except for the relay board which I might do alone because uh, this looks like it could be fun it's just a blank PCB that I've got to solder a lot of things into so that could be kinda cool and that just leaves apart from that miscellaneous there the uh, automated build platform so I will dig into this the uh, Crash Space has their MakerBot Sundays, third Sunday of the month, which means in a few days now, it's Tuesday. So uh, in five days, four days or so, I'll head over there, bring my bot with me, get the opinion of the guy there that's most senior on, I think he's built like two or three of these now at least. And uh, this is almost immediately going to be a lot of fun, I think. So that's it for this session. The extruder really kicked my ass, like I mentioned. And, but really, it was these lame-ass directions. They could have been far more informative than they were. And that for this entire box to go together in eight hours, as smoothly and beautifully and wonderfully as it did, for this thing to take five hours alone with far fewer parts and much less complexity, that was just an annoyance. So uh, the instructions for the automated build platform there are 55 pages compared to 25 just for the extruder. Hopefully they're better written and I won't have that much of a headache. I'm definitely going to breeze through them first. And uh, that is pretty much that, I think. So that wraps up this session. Watch for the rest of it coming up soon. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.